Joe Woe Vlog. Hope you guys are having a good day so far. Today's gonna be kind of a more chill IRL day in the life type video. Hope you guys have been enjoying them. I've been trying to kind of just branch out, do more stuff. I've always wanted to vlog for a long time, and I feel like now is the perfect opportunity. Obviously, with season two of Warzone, I just got off for like a 10 and a half hour stream, but it's been a little crazy. I had a couple weddings to go to, traveled some, and then this season just dropped, so I'm ready to be back on the grizzly grind. Gonna probably go grab some coffee, take a nice little walk down in, in Charlotte. I don't know if you guys can see, obviously, it's pretty bright in here, but thankfully this week is going to be very, very nice. So more car stuff. I may even go play basketball outside. I've been going to the gym a little bit, but have to actually go and get back in shape because we're a little bit out of shape, but um, it's supposed to be like 70s and 80s this week, which is crazy because it's February. It's literally freaking February. It's had to be 80 degrees. So definitely more car content is coming. Let's head, grab some coffee, and let's have a good day today. Let's do it. All right, so I just spoke to the man E himself. He's gonna come over and um, we're gonna kind of plan out some content for the week because we've been on a really good schedule on all the channels, obviously for main channel doing like every other day, the second channel doing like more kind of reaction co type content and obviously the vlog channel. So he's uh, signing over, he will be in about five minutes. I'm about to go get him a, uh, a parking pass and stuff. And then I think we're gonna go grab some coffee, which is gonna be a vibe because definitely need to wake up some. I streamed, like I said last night for like 11 hours and it's been a long wedding weekend and all that jazz. So trying to stay up, power through and and then hopefully stay up so I can go to bed at a decent hour tonight. But let's go pick up E and then let's grab some coffee. You guys didn't know this, I'm like the most unorganized person ever. So I didn't know that you could actually use your iPhone and MacBook or iPad or anything and actually have notes that you can share with other people. And also it'll sync up to the other device that you have. So obviously I have a iPhone and then I have a Mac and I can create notes and they'll sync up on each thing. And it helps me out obviously for trying to organize stuff because like I said, I'm the most disorganized person ever if you can't tell why all this stuff, but it actually can help me out as I'm trying to like organize or playing content or, or, or all that stuff because it's in one place. I don't have to like download another app on another, it's just it's just a mess. But I'm getting there. I'm slowly but steadily trying to get organized because it'll definitely make my brain fog a little bit better. How is my favorite Android user? How you're mocking, but they, how they, they is sick. my favorite green texter? Dude. Green text message. You don't show up as green for me. This guy, I'm not even kidding you, spent three days texting me green and I thought he was like, yo, he didn't pay his Wi-Fi bill or something, but I didn't call it out. And then he said, I got a new phone and that's when I knew. Okay, that actually does look sick. Like, look at look at what my text looks like. Stop. Anyway, yeah, this guy, I yeah, can't take like, this guy what? serious. So I'm trying out my first local spot in Charlotte for coffee. It's called Coco and the Director. Usually I just get like Starbucks or like Dunkin' Donuts because I'm basic, but apparently there's a ton of really good coffee shops that are like local places. So let's taste test it. Let's give it a try. And Coco, you better, you better not, better not let me down, baby. All right, so I just got my uh, latte. I think it was, it was a brown sugar and cinnamon. I don't even know what that means, but hopefully it's good. And then a nice little sausage, egg and cheese. And we got a nice little corner spot over here. Now for the next hour, so we're probably gonna plan content for the week for the rest of the month. Obviously it's been pretty crazy. So trying to get all, all that planned for all the, all the three channels and uh, a nice little vibey start to the morning. So I'm not sure if this bothers anybody, but look at how many tabs I have open on my it's computer. Disgusting. So I'm not sure if that bothers anybody, but I hope I triggered somebody. Overall, I give Coco and the, I keep saying creator, I don't know why. Coco and the director, uh, eight out of 10 or seven out of 10. I don't even like coffee, so I don't know why I'm voting on coffee. Joe literally says, this is the second time you've done that. We go to a coffee shop and he says, what is your Sweet. sweetest non-coffee tasting coffee? And that's what I say because I know that I hate coffee and I need something that can be turnt and- Just get chocolate milk. Chocolate milk, I'm not 12. I talk like I'm 12, but I'm not 12. All right, but <laughs> overall though, it was fire. And we just got a ton of freaking content planned for the week and into next week. So that's super exciting. Obviously for me, like I said before, structure is literally everything. So I'm trying to just kind of get my brain and everything back into a normal flow where then I'm good to, you know, just do my own thing, but also have structure to know what I should be doing and not just off the top random stuff. So we're heading back to my place. May take the cars out today if it doesn't rain. Super excited, heading back, and then uh, it's gonna be a good day. This is literally a bomb drone in Warzone IRL. Cringe, why did you bring those back? Raven software, screw yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan of this weather right now. 
it is starting to get a little bit cloudy, which I don't like that, which means rain could be coming, but I need to take my car out in general because I'm trying to drive the cab, but also I need to run to Best Buy to get a PS4 controller because I got a Jobo Scuffin that's custom, a PS4 one. I've always used the PS5, which uses the new USB-C cables and the PS4 ones don't. So I literally looked around my whole place and I know I have one somewhere back at the garage setup, but I don't have any PS4 controller cables. So I'm like, dang. So I need to run to Best Buy or Walmart or somewhere and grab one, but I'm trying to take out the Hellcat and I don't want it to rain because slicks and rain don't go good. So we'll see if I can actually find a controller cable before it rains. <laughs> One thing that I'm so glad I did, and it like is growing on me more and more by the day, is the blue calipers. I'm so glad I never did white calipers or kept a black. I was like, let me try blue, and I think the blue calipers now look so freaking good. Alrighty, we are back at Cardinal Camera. Um, I'm looking just for a Joby tripod because I have the other one that's like very small. It's getting a, a little bit unstable for me. So I'm looking for a tripod and the last time I was here, I spent way too much money. So I'm going to try to get in and out. E, I think is trying to find like a lens or something, but um, then go to Best Buy or something to get my PS4 controller cable to try out that controller tonight. Yeah, I'm going to try to get in and out of here. Not try to spend as much money as I can, you know? All right, so we came back to Cardinal Camera. They've had in the 5K. I was nervous because, you know, I feel like I'm always cursed for things that are supposed to come in, but we got the 5K now, so the camera won't be leaning off the tripod and all that jazz, which is nice to actually have a universal little bracket mount all the time. So I'm excited. Let's freaking go, baby. Alrighty, we have arrived at the bestest of buys, and hopefully they have a controller cable. Wish me luck. This guy loves his Samsung phones. I mean, I love all tech. Dude, I, I got an iPhone out in the car right now. I got a Google Pixel at home. Mission success for our cable. Ooh, but I don't know if it's a good cable or like PlayStation certified, so I'm scared it's not going to work, but we'll find out. Also, I had no idea at Best Buy they have radar detectors. I've been looking at some radar detectors to get for the Hellcat. I'm assuming some of you guys probably know better than I do, but I was looking at the R8. I think that is the, the Uniden R8, and I need a radar detector for the Hellcat. So now I'm like, do I just get one here or do i buy one on amazon because i'm already here so may need a little radar detector all right so i just walked out of best buy got me a ps4 cable for the controller i'm trying tonight and then a uh radar detector i've been looking at them for a minute i just didn't ever get one and this was the exact one that i was looking at and uh i was like you know what it's here and why not get it for the vlog so now i'm gonna install it real quick i don't have the proper stuff i think there's extra cable and stuff you have to get to actually run it through your mirror and i definitely don't have that yet so i'll probably just have the cord come down across my dash which is kind of annoying but it is what it is um i would rather be safe than sorry you know so let's get this thing set up real quick so i'm unboxing her we are just gonna put it and hook it up to the cigarette lighter for now and then later obviously i can get the cord ran through but i don't know if this counts as a mod but maybe we'll just say another mod to the hellcat Alrighty, we just got back from grabbing the cable that I really freaking needed for my controller and the radar detector, which I'm actually super excited for. I was driving home, obviously, and it works very well. And mind you, I'm not even the type of person to be speeding. If I'm driving, like, say, on the highway or something like that, like, I'm going 10 over. My number one pet peeve about the South, North Carolina, there's some nice elderly people that love to just sit in the fast lane, not a worry in the world, and do just the speed limit. You're the slow person. Stop being slow. So I'm getting in the other lane, the slow lane, all right? To pass you, you best believe I'm giving you this. Move over, but that radar detector is nice. Busy, busy, busy day. Obviously, plan out content for the week. The number one thing that for me is so important is obviously just trying to get some structure in my life. My brain is always working like a million miles an hour, like all the time. I'm never the person, which is a good thing and a bad thing, to just be satisfied and like sit down and just be like, you know what? I'm about to just chill today. We got some videos up and I'm good. Like my brain is like, okay, what's next? Like it could be the best day ever. We could get out YouTube videos on all the channels. We could have new sponsors, the best stream ever. And then I'm still thinking like, okay, what's next? What's next? That's a good thing, but I feel like it's also a bad thing because then like you don't get to, I don't know, like sit down and see like what you've built because of you guys over the past three years. And the good thing is seeing the structure now of where I could be going to plan out content for the weekend. Obviously, like things will change with trying to post certain videos, trying to kind of get certain things up. Things will change, 
but knowing like what times that I have free to do something if I ever want to will be nice. Will I take time off? No, probably not. Knowing that I could or the structure of the day if like I'm trying to go get food with somebody or coffee with somebody or knowing the schedule. With all that being said, obviously, thank you guys so freaking much for the love on the vlog channel. We're getting better and better. Obviously, I'm very far from a professional vlogger, as you can tell. My face is dark right now. I don't even know how to work my camera, but, but thank you guys for sticking through, seeing kind of my life outside of gaming and streaming and content means a lot to me. Um, it's been a thing that I've been trying to do for a long time now, and I was like, you know what? Let's just freaking send it. Obviously, not gonna be good at it, as nobody is for their first 10 times doing something, 50 times, like, but, it means the world that there's so many people that will say, yo, been loving the vlogs. Like that means more than you guys will probably ever know. As somebody who never grew up using cameras, I can't talk to save my life. It really does mean a ton. And thank you guys for just the insane support on the vlog channel. With all that being said, I'm about to slide on the good old stream, grind for a little bit, and then um, kind of end the day off. But I hope you guys enjoyed it inside the life of a content creator for the day. And if you guys would like to see more of kind of the day-to-day stuff let me know down below and also for any other future vlogs obviously the basketball vlogs they're coming soon some more car vlogs all that jazz but with all that being said i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one peace